Good evening and welcome to worship. Those that are watching online, I invite you to go to trinityvoiceful.com for our announcements this morning. Uh, this morning, this evening. Sorry, I've been golfing all day at a golf tournament, so if I say a lot of things wrong tonight, that is why. A lot of time in the sun. Uh, a couple of quick uh, announcements for you. Uh, we have our Pine Ice Cream Social coming up on the 22nd. Uh, we are looking for workers, especially on Saturday morning and after the parade. Um, and so uh, join us for that. Or if you can't work, at least just come and enjoy some uh, wonderful pie and other food, again, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on the 22nd. Also for that day, we have our Pickle Fest float. Um, and so if you're interested in riding our float, we love people of all ages. Join us for that. You can meet us here at the church at noon that day, and we'll take care of you. Uh, kids that ride get their own bag of candy. Get your own. And it's good candy. It's super good candy. Like, I get the good stuff for the float riders. Um, and I'm going to leave the rest of the announcements to you and invite you to uh, turn and sing, I love to tell the story, hymn number 661. <laughs> Suddenly an angel touched him and said to him, Get up and eat. 
He looked, and there in his hand was a cake baked on hot stones and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord came a second time, touched him, and said, Get up and eat, otherwise the journey will be too much for you. He got up and ate and drank. Then he went to the strength of that food forty days and forty nights to Horeb, the mount of God. This is the word of the Lord. Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I mentioned earlier in the service that today I played in a golf tournament, and I know that you all know that me playing golf is not a rare phenomenon. However, I normally don't play 18 holes of golf. And though I normally not walk, well, walk nine holes, playing 18 holes today when it got hot, it started out kind of cool and misty, and then got hot, I gotta admit, that towards the end of the round, I was getting a little tired. Now, I had played great. Now, you might, Tony, not going to believe me, but I actually had an eagle in our group. I drove a green. I thought I hit it out of bounds, but the green was tucked in the corner. Drove it out of the green and, and made the putt for eagle. And I made a 60-foot putt after my putter hit the ground. It somehow went to the hole and went in for our other eagle of the day. So I was playing incredibly well. But all of a sudden, about holes 15 and 16, I just, I started, I just could tell I was getting tired, I wasn't coming through the ball, I just wasn't doing it. And then, a miracle happened. A miracle that all golfers like to see on the golf course. That's right, the beverage cart came by. The beverage cart came by, I got my, myself a fresh, cold, super cold bottle of water, I drank that sucker down, and all of a sudden, my mojo was right back again. I started hitting drives better again, I started playing better, we ended up doing very well. We were 14 under total uh, for the end, that was not enough to win the thing, but enough to be very respect respectable. But it was interesting how just that bottle of water, that cool bottle of water, helped me get through the rest of that round. In our reading here from 1 Kings, Elijah's on the run. Now we don't have this context on why he's on the run. He's on the run because people want to kill him. People want to kill him, they're after him, and he is fleeing as fast as he can to try to get away from them. But he's tired. And he basically wants to give up. So what does he do? It's what we all do when we're tired. We take a nap. Boy, I could use a nap right now. You put a cot right here, I'm taking a nap. He takes a nap, but something crazy happens when he's taking a nap. The angel of the Lord comes to him and says, hey, Elijah, get up. Oh, and by the way, here's some food and water for you. Now, I've always wondered what the cake was. Like, was it a chocolate frosted cake? Was it an angel food cake? It just says cake. I don't know, put your favorite cake in there. She has a little cake, has a little water. He goes back to bed. Angel of the Lord wakes him up again. He feeds again. And after that, he travels 40 days and 40 nights straight to Mount Horus, the mountain of God, the God that uh, the mountain that Moses stood on to get the Ten Commandments. So think about that. Moses was tired and wanted to give up. He was in pain, he was suffering, he was anxious for his own life. But God fed him, watered him, gave him rest, and he was able to keep going. Well, the same is true for us. Now, we might not have anybody chasing us to kill us now, who knows? We'll see what I say in the sermon. Someone might come after me. But we are sometimes running in the race of life and it gets hard. We suffer, we have pain, we have hardship. Sometimes it's easy to give up. It's easy to just stop. But in those moments, our Savior Jesus Christ comes to us and feeds us his living bread. The living bread of hope and love, reminding that we're not alone. Our God comes to us with grace and mercy to quench our thirst so we can keep going so that we know that no matter what, in the midst of our pain, in the midst of our suffering, no matter how tired we are, we can not only keep going, but we can go for a long time. We can be sustained for a long time on what our Lord gives us, on what our Lord gives you. Sometimes life becomes incredibly tiring. And we want to give up and we want to stop. But the Lord is there to give us the strength we need to keep going. The Lord is there to feed you and to feed me and to feed all of us. 
So if you're tired this day, if you're hurting this day, if you want to give up this day, turn to your Savior. Know if your Lord is with you. He will give you strength for the journey ahead and let you know that you're not alone, that in God we can do all things. For that we can say thanks be to God. Amen. Yeah, the joke came later in the round after I hit that pump was I should just always hit the ground with my putter. Because it did. It went straight home. I couldn't believe it. It jumped up and down. This is now, by the way, three straight golf tournaments that I played in that I have eagled. I have been the sole person responsible for an eagle. I have not yet eagled in all of my hundreds of rounds the entirety of this year. But yet in, the, in these golf tournaments, it just, it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Let us sing, we're all one in mission. Is that what we're singing? Look at me. We're all one in mission. Hit number 576.
Loving God, we ask that you would be with all of our partner organizations. Plus the ELCA in the Northwest End of Wisconsin, Lutheran Park Bible Camp, Lutheran Campus Ministry at Stout, American Lutheran Home, Lutheran Social Services, Stepping Stones, and West Cat. We give you thanks for our partners as we continue to serve those in need and proclaim your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. I invite you, if you're watching online, to share a piece in the comments. And if you would like to give an offering online, you can do so by going to the website trainingvoiceful.com. Just scroll down a little bit, and you will see the giving form. I would ask you to grab out the plates, but they're not here. I think they're in the fellowship hall. So if you have an offering, we'll take care of it afterwards. Let us continue our service with the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We sing our final song in number 574, Here I Am, Lord. Thank you.